This video is going to be about things we never talk about. And I got you covered on this. These are my 10 to 20 tips about aging that have to do with beauty, mobility, balance, necessities. I got you covered. Teeth. Are your teeth not so white anymore? Is your hair thinning a bit? How about your feet and your heels? Do you get the itches from mosquito bites and flies and things? I got you covered. Stay tuned. Now, Moose has some good tips for you too about balance and mobility and some things that he uses that help him be able to enjoy his life and keep on trucking. Now, first we're gonna talk about beauty. And I'm gonna have to rush through this video because I have so much to say. And these are all things that we have found that help us to live our life a little better as we age. And there are solutions that some of you might know about, maybe you don't. But let's start with the beauty. I think as I told you, my hair is thinning. And I have found that if I use this dry shampoo in my hair, and I did do um, a video where I, I demonstrated this, that you spray it in the roots all over where you want it to have volume. And boy, does it spread out. I do have some spots that are going on me. Now, also, my teeth, I've noticed lately, are just not as white as they used to be. And so I bought this Crest 3D whitening kit. They're strips, and from what I hear, they really work. I know one of my sons has done it, and it brought his teeth up. Not a heavy coffee drinker. I don't smoke, but my teeth have definitely gotten a little darker with age. So I'm going to do this 14 days in a row. And I'm gonna keep you up on that. And also, I'm using charcoal when I brush my teeth every day. Now you could do it twice a day or you could do a couple times a week. From what I understand, the charcoal does help with that too. Now, as you know, my skin is way, way, way dry. And I use Nivea mostly to keep it. I also use the Vaseline Intensive Care oil on my whole body after showers that as we age and you know what happens to the skin it dries out and you do have to keep moisturizing i have to tell you a funny little story this is my rabbit hole story of the day maybe i only have one or two but uh, quite a while ago when my granddaughter ryan was about <clears throat> she probably was four or five a very precocious little girl we were sitting in my bed one morning and we were just chatting about fun things. And, and she looked at me and, and she said, Nanny, why does your skin look like that? It's all wrinkly. And, and your elbows, she said, your, your elbows are, are all scrunchy. They're all scrunchy. <laughs> and I said, oh, Ryan, that's okay. That, that happens when you get old like Nanny she says are you old and I said well I'm old but not too old she said did your mommy have that too like those funny little scrunchy funny elbows and I said oh yeah yeah she had those too she says where is your mommy and I said oh my mommy's in heaven and she said as she looked at me and she said oh nanny you don't have much time left, do you? <laughs> and I thought, out of the mouths of babes. And to this day, she is now 20 and a beautiful young girl. And we laugh about some of those things. But she realizes now that I'm not, that I'm more young at heart, I guess. Well, we have to include in this video, what happens when you do jumping jacks when you sneeze and when you laugh too hard. And you know what that is. It's called incontinence. Now, the solutions for that is don't do any more jumping jacks. This all starts in your 50s, maybe even earlier. Sneeze can help that. Laughing too hard. Well, I would say 
try and keep your bladder empty. Just keep it empty as much as you can, but keep on laughing. Now, there's also the other solution, and that's to wear those protective pads. So, that's just a force of nature, all of it. It's natural, happens to everyone. Now, moving along, and since I have my eyeglasses in my hand, I have to tell you what these little things are. Now, I buy a bag of these, and I think you get about a dozen in a bag for about $6 on Amazon. These are eyeglass, or what they call on Amazon, spectacle cleansers. And you know you're not supposed to wipe all sorts of things on your glasses. The um, eye doctor will tell you that. These are a miracle, no matter what you have on your eyes. And because I put a lot of oils <clears throat> and creams on my face, my eyebrows and eyelashes and around the eyes are always transferring the greasy stuff to my glasses. And I'm constantly cleaning them. You take this little thing, you put your glasses between it, and you go around, it forms around here. You just push, it squeezes it together. And I tell you, your eyeglasses are such a difference right now are so clean, nothing gets it as clean, even those eyeglass wipes as clean as this does. Let's talk about chin whiskers. We all start getting chin whiskers probably late 40s, 50s. And in the beginning, what you do and what I still do, and I can't, I was gonna pull out my tweezers here, but I can't find any right now. But I do have them from here, here, and any once in a while, maybe a stray one here. Now my daughters use these little, um, I don't know whether they're electric or battery operated, little face shavers for all this. I don't use it, especially for the chin. I still use my tweezers, but I do go out in the sun with a magnifying mirror and you, the sun helps you get these better. Now mine are white now, so sometimes they don't show up. I tell you in two days, you can pull one out and two days, days later, that little sucker will still be sticking out of your chin. So keep up on them. Sometimes if I haven't, my son or somebody will say, Nans, mom, get that. Or Matthew pulls them. Those are little things we don't want to talk about either. One last thing that has to do with beauty and your body. If you have sloping shoulders, which does happen as we age and you want to look nice and squared off, it's one of my how to look younger tips that I did a long, long time ago. And here's the secret. I wear shoulder pads and they have that little rounded tip. Underneath they have this Velcro strip that you put your bra strap through. It helps keep them in place. And I love them. Go on amazon.com and you'll find all kinds of removable or what they call portable, I don't know what they call them, uh, to stick in anything. And I use them quite a bit. Look at the difference that it makes, even with a, a little puffy sleeve top. Now, a lot of these other things, I'm gonna tell you about things that have to do with my feet and this wonderful machine that I use to shave my legs. We'll go into the bedroom for that. And I do want to show you what we have in the bathroom. I've talked about our high toilets. Our toilets are 17 to 19 inches off the ground. And if you have mobility uh, issues or bad knees or hips, you want a high toilet seat because it's tough getting up from a, a toilet. We also have, which I will show you in the bathroom, the bars and where we have them. We have them by the front door for moose also. And these really do help you with safety issues, those necessities of life. We're gonna go into the car. I have been doing quite a bit of driving this week. As I told you, we've been visiting our family. Our son, Bill, was down from Idaho. We had dinner with him the other night and I'm always driving home at night from some of these gatherings. And I've noticed for quite a while now, several years, and I'm sure even younger people have this, that driving at night with the glare of the, um, well, we'll talk about this in the car, but I found a solution to that. A lot of these things are necessities. A lot of them have to do with beauty. And uh, uh, going along with the dry skin, the upkeep on your feet and legs is something that 
I do periodically and it's like a half a day thing, but you gotta do it. And we'll do that when we get into the bedroom. I also have uh, an, a little thing that I filmed in the garden a little while ago and Moosey demonstrated some of his aids that help him to be mobile, to have his balance and to be able to keep on trucking. Got all these things to help us. Here's one that just came in the mail and it's very useful. It's called a grabber. It's not that thing you walk behind your dog and pick your <laughs> stuff up. It's not one of those. Trust me, you wouldn't want to pick up your dog. Never mind. See, you can pick that banana up. Oh, Good job. Thank you. <laughs> you A million uses of that, huh? Yeah. yeah. Paint by numbers. You can't do it without one of these because the numbers are so small. You have to get in there. Oh, that's a three, not a five. I used to have an advisor that I pulled down. I had adjustable uh, lenses. Oh, that's good for when you want your both hands free, huh? Yep. Exactly. Which you do when you're painting by numbers sometimes. Or, trust me, a lot of these things you get with instructions you can't use. We have this thing handy. Can't lose it. It's so big. <laughs> so you can read the instructions. Shake well before you're using. It always says that, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. <laughs> Good job. We have a million of these in the kitchen, in the bedroom, because you need these besides your spectacles, right? Yeah, for sure. You may have seen me getting around in this. Walk around. But, you know, it's not so much for walking as it for me is for balance. I mean, I can walk. But this key, I've lost my balance. I'm like this, you know, no, no. But anyway, I've lost my balance. I can walk around, but about bada bing. And this enables us. We can go out for pizza. <laughs> pizza <laughs> and visit all those kids. Visiting children, yep. Great. And I use the cane in the garden to yeah. steady myself yeah. when I'm trying to feed the birds. Yeah. Don't don't be embarrassed to use all this stuff. It enables you to, to have a beautiful life and to keep going, right? Nothing embarrasses me. That's good. <laughs> I also have shown you some of my flowering succulents, and I'm gonna do a video on this within the next couple of videos on how to propagate and buy these at the dollar store. These are my flowering succulents that you can buy in the dollar store. Little plants for $1, maybe now it's $1.25. And you can grow them. These need to be replanted, but they will grow each one of these this big. Uh -huh. You save money, or if your friends have succulents, you just take bits and pieces. You can pop off a stem, just you cut it with a sharp razor. You take this, you pop it in dirt, and believe it or not, a plant like this will grow. By the way, this is my garden cane that I use to steady myself. Another succulent. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? So many varieties. <clears throat> I want to show you my overalls. Amazon.com, I've decided that I'm in love with garden overall. They match my, my garden shoes. What about the fingernails? And the fingernails are yellow today and match my shoes. <laughs> cute? Aren't these cute? Yeah. You're darling in anything. Oh, sweet. For anyone who drives at night, and I discovered that there are glasses that are anti-glare for nighttime driving. And I ordered them on Amazon. I hope they'll come for me to be able to show you, but they certainly are a wonderful thing that you can use. They're wonderful for driving at night. And I would recommend anyone of a certain age to get these. I can't tell you how nerve wracking it is driving at night. Oh, if they come in time, I will show them to you. But certainly these aids for driving in your car, especially if you're a senior, 
certainly do help. So try some of these tips and tricks and believe me, they really help you to, to keep living your life in a good, positive way with a great attitude. Now let's go back in the house and I have a few more things to show you. I'm in the bedroom. We have a, uh, as you know, our cottage, our little adobe cottage is about 90 years old. And we have this wonderful old rock fireplace in a corner of the bedroom. Big beam ceilings, high ceilings, and it's such a cozy bedroom. I hope to do a Christmas video and show you at Christmas. Maybe you've seen one. I did one last Christmas showing the interior of the cottage. But in here, while we're in the bedroom, I'm going to attempt to show you how we take care of things like our feet and our legs and what I do to help keep my sanity and to help keep up the maintenance, which as you know, as you age, especially on your feet, your heels, your toenails becomes a chore. So I'm going to fix the camera and I have a whole little arsenal of things to show you here. What I do to maintain my feet is first of all, and I, I have this foot spa filled with all the goodies. I have a foot spa that I've had for probably 30 years. The kids bought it for me one Christmas. I disconnected the electrical. It was one of those ones that that would give you currents to keep your feet mobile on the bottom of the feet. It would move around, but I disconnected that. I use this only for bathing my feet and treating my feet. So I fill this with warm water and in it, I put an assortment of different kinds of things. This happens to be Dr. Teal's foaming bath salts and it's got Epsom salts and some almond oil and things that are good for your feet. It's a foot soak. And I do have others with Castile soap, also Dr. Teal's. So we have that. After I fill it up, I do soak my feet and let them get softer. When they get softer, I start working on my heels which are very rough, just like the rest of my body. And I have an assortment of tools. And if I can keep getting up or get closer to the camera, which I can't, one of them is one of these tools. Can you see this? It has the rotating thing up here and it's um, diamond encrusted, they say. Oh, I almost got a nail. And I do my heel back and forth and around the whole sides of the foot, across the toes and it does help to exfoliate all the dead skin and help keep them, I should shut this off. It helps to exfoliate the skin and keep, you can get these in the drugstore. Dr. Scholes makes them and various other companies do it. Now, while I'm in there, I scrub and I've got an assortment of brushes, brushes and files, various files, and I'll either use the files on the heels, the sides of the feet, the bottom of the foot and around the nails. And being a diabetic, it's especially important for me to keep my feet clean and uh, taken care of, which is one of the reasons that I don't go to a nail salon because I was warned by the doctor years ago that you run the risk of infection. So I am able to still do this myself. Now, after I do all that, soak the feet, and I do have various other things. You, maybe you've heard of the egg, which is also a little thing that helps scrape the heels. I, I will use that. And I'm gonna try and get closer to the camera now, now that you've seen the tub that I soak. And I do this, by the way, on the side of my bed. I sit on the side of the bed and I get towels, and this is where I do my toenail clipping and grooming of the nails. Now that's a little tough these days too, because my toes have gotten thick, as many of you know can happen, and I try and groom all that. And I, I do a fairly good job of it because now, especially with summer coming, I wanna be able to wear nice open sandals like everyone else. So after I get my feet all cleaned, and the nails done and I have my little kit here of all the clippings for the nails. I have every kind of a clipper that you can imagine which gets your nails done. I have 
all kinds of these. I have files and tweezers if you get ingrown toenails. I've learned how to do all that. So all of that is kept in here. And then I have a Dr. Scholl's Heel Tastic Roll-On. Margie gave this to me and since then I've ordered three more. Um, she puts it on her elbows, speaking of the cute little thing that Ryan told you. You roll it up and it smells smells nice, not too strong a smell. It's good for your, your elbows, your knees, any rough areas and around your heels. And she does it morning and night. And a few of the kids have inherited my, my rough skin. And at the same time, you can put it on your arms or wherever else you want. The other thing that I use, and my Mikey told me about this because many of my kids have the problem, is the heel balm. And you put this on at night, especially if you have cracks in your heels, and the next morning it feels great. Now I also put the booties on, and I hope this doesn't turn out to be a pair of mittens because that wouldn't go on your feet, would it? There. So I have my little booties, the little sport socks, anklets, and I put these on at night, not every night, but usually after I do it for a couple of nights thereafter. And it helps when I put the heel balm on. If I don't put heel balm or the Dr. Scholl's stick, I use Vaseline and these, and then it feels good. Now, if my heels are particularly rough, I do have and I bought these probably 20 years ago. Okay, now I'm closer. Let me just show you, this is another Dr. Woods Peppermint Soak, and it's also a soap, and if you want, it uh, gives your feet a nice, cool feeling. I also have sprays that after I do all this on my feet, before I put them in my booties, I uh, will spray the feet with an assortment of um, nice little sprays that make my feet feel cool. I can't remember the name of them now, but let me show you these. These are called Heelys, I think, and these are rubber. And after you take care of your cracked heels or your heels that are too rough, you put these on and the rubber makes the Vaseline or the heel balm stay on your feet. It won't soak into your foot, which is important. And if you put the booties on after this, usually this keeps it in place and it will keep your heels moisturized. The other wonderful tool that I use on my legs, I can't shave my legs and have not been able to do it for 30, 40 years, mainly because I will get cuts. A razor will cut my legs because they're so dry. About 20, 25 years ago, I found this machine. It's called a Con Air Hair Removal System for your legs or whatever. And what it consists of is it's electric, obviously. Now they don't make this anymore, but you can buy it on eBay and you need these removable pads. You push the button, comes with one or two pads to begin with. You remove you push the button, you circle these, make a twist, and these are pads. It removes hair by um, hovering over your skin or possibly touching, read the directions. And the hair is removed with this rotating sandpaper um, removable pads. And you can buy these, once again, Amazon sells them for an enormous price, but go on eBay and you can get them much, much cheaper. They are still expensive, but if you can't shave your legs, this system is worth its weight in gold. You go around your, your leg with a circular motion and it removes it. It's called the Conair Hair Removal System HB1. Now, some people use this also on your heels or your feet and it exfoliates. And it also exfoliates all the dead, loose, scaly skin that might be on your legs. And if you have dry skin, you know what I'm talking about. Now in our tiny little cottage bathroom, we did have bars installed by the toilet. We do have this toilet seat that was installed and it is the high toilet seat, which is wonderful. I did all these walls. They're cement over the adobe bricks and I made them look old. And I also put those bricks down there too, which kind of add to the oldness of the cottage. 
Now in the bathroom, this is where I keep my curlers, by the way, in here. It's an old, um, the, the clothespins used to stay in there and I keep my curlers in there. In the bathroom, we have a seat which is wonderful for moose. We also have in here, inside the shower, bars, and we have the mother front door too, so moose can go up and down the ramp when he goes out in his rollator. Now, the, the decor is something that Ryan and I did when we moved in. All the colored marbles and stones. That's how she learned all her different colors. <laughs> I think that's it. I don't think I've missed too much and I've tried to get it all in. There are many other things that we can do to help keep the maintenance up on our aging bodies, make us feel younger and, and perhaps not younger, but more alive and, and well-maintained and a lot you can still do yourself. So thank you so much for watching. I love you all. I didn't get a chance to answer all the comments from the last video yet. We've kind of been on the run visiting um, children this week, but I will get to it. Honestly, I have read everything. I just have not commented. And thank you for all your lovely comments. I appreciate you so much. Welcome to the new people. And shh, we can talk about all this and find ways to take care of all those little things that before we never talked about. Goodbye for now. I love you all. God bless us all.